Hi, welcome to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. I've been away for a few weeks, as you probably know, or as so many of you have reminded me in texts and emails. I just got back from Germany, where yours truly was skiing on the Chukspitze Mountain and having a good time in Bavaria with some friends of ours, and also doing some work for a board meeting that I had. But I'm back in Honolulu today, and I'm happy because it was mighty cold up there. It was zero degrees on top of the mountain and 65 degrees at the bottom, but uh, still very cold for us Hawaiian people. Uh, today, I want to introduce a wonderful friend who I have, I, I, I'm, I'm in love with this woman. Her name is Sharon Yarborough. Sharon is the president, chief executive officer, chief bottle washer, and everything else <laughs> with a company called Sisters Empowering Hawaii. Sharon, welcome to Seymour's World. Oh, thank you for having me, Seymour. This is, is exciting. Such, it is exciting for me to have you because A, I uh, respect you tremendously for what you are doing for women in the state of Hawaii. Not just in the state of Hawaii, you're, you're reaching out all yes. over the place. And I think that is terrific. And I wanted to introduce you, not just as a business person here in Hawaii, but somebody who has the same passion that I do. Mm -hmm. It is the passion for helping others. Yes. So uh, let's, let's get a little background. Tell right. me a little bit about you and your past. All right, my, as he said, my name is Sharon Thomas Yarbrough. I am from uh, Toledo, Ohio. That's where I was born. And I attended school um, in all over, really. My father was a minister, uh, Seventh day Adventist minister. My mother, a school teacher, and later on, principal. So we traveled a lot. He built churches all over the East Coast. Oh my gosh. And so this is how I was able to um, start getting my passion to help helping people. I watched my father and mother do this all my life. And so after that, I attended the university, um, Oakwood University in Huntsville, Alabama, where my father met my mother. And from then on, I moved to Los Angeles and had a shop on Melrose called oh Amici gosh. Cosmetics. Yes, it had skin care for men and women. And then later on, I moved to Hawaii. And Hawaii is just, it's very different here. I love living here. How long have you been here? I've been here over a little over 20 years. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Kama'aina, mm -hmm. I feel. So I, when I moved here, I did not know one single person. And I said, well, there's no way that I could find out there wasn't really a community here per se like you can go to New York and find a community you can go to Los Angeles I have lived uh, in Atlanta when my father had the church there so I said you know I am going to start women we love to lunch and so I'm going to start an exclusive networking lunch luncheon for women this is how we started because I said how where am I going to get my hair fluffed where do I go for my nails what church do I attend uh, what gynecologist can I go to so I started this networking organization sisters empowering Hawaii and this is how we started and it's grown I mean we're going to show some pictures after okay. about some of the some of the work that you have done but Sharon this is becoming a big organization are you by yourself or do you have help I do have well I've started it by myself I mean, 15 years ago, I was addressing 200 invitations, personally sitting down at my dining room table, addressing uh, envelopes um, to people. And how I started when I was a chief fundraiser at the Red Cross, I would um, go around and I would collect business cards. And this is how I started. But you know, moving forward now, we have social media, we have email, uh, you can do Eventbrite, you can use PayPal. Uh, we don't use to put a stamp on an envelope and people mail in your check. I, I love it now. And you have Facebook, social media. It's wonderful. But yes, we have grown. I do have a vice president, June Dennis, mm -hmm. June Fletcher Dennis. She lives in Monterey, California. Mm -hmm. uh, I do have marketing people who help me now, digital marketing, marketing where uh, we have Urban Hawaii Media to help us and I have um you know, this has been wonderful. It's just been a, a learning experience. Well, let me ask you this. If you were my client, and you're not my client, just for you people to know, <laughs> uh, if you were my client, the first thing I would ask you is, what is your mission statement? My mission statement is to empower, motivate, and educate all women. And so how we do that, we have various uh, events. We have workshops, conferences, book signings, and usually I couple uh, a speaker from the mainland and I use speakers from Hawaii and we bring them together in a form where you can just 
tell your story. And so the women that you have here in Hawaii that have started to come to you, are they becoming part of the organization as well? Do they start to realize that this could be like a, a pebble that goes into a lake and starts spreading out? How do you find the organization growing? It's growing. Word of mouth is wonderful. And what I really enjoy about this is my organization is Hawaii's Foremost Women's Empowerment Organization. And it's not a, a sorority, it's not a business where you have to pay dues. I just want people to come in and relax at work all week. You just come in and you dress up. Uh, you come to various, I have it in various uh, venues, and enjoy yourself. You network. People think that networking is an old-fashioned word. No, it's not. Ne you're networking from the time that you graduate probably from high school and t forever. Mm -hmm. I agree. It, it's, it's a I it's agree. forever um, mission, I think. So yes, it is growing. And um, I've been very fortunate to start off doing this solo. As it was just my husband and I doing this. And now we've grown where we started off Ladies love to lunch. We started off with 25 people, and we're going up to maybe 300 people who are attending. Wow. Now, you have an event coming up, or you have an event that you're planning, I understand. Correct? I do have an event that I'm planning. As we know, March is uh, Women's History Month. So we're celebrating our third annual Women Making History Awards celebration and book signing luncheon. And the one Let's see, we had one at the Wiley Country Club. Mm -hmm. It was on March 26, and I honored six women. Wow, that is terrific. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think this is wonderful, Sharon, because we pay so much attention to, you know, the glass ceiling and what's happening, but you're somebody who's doing it right at the grassroots. You're, yes. You're helping people come to a meeting and start to feel empowered because of the ability to feel like you're somebody, right? You can Absolutely. actually do something on your own and be strong about it and have the support group of Sisters Empowering Hawaii. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to just pat sisters and wives on the back, but beep, beep. I've seen the effects of people attending Sisters Empowering Hawaii. I've seen hairdressers who come to Hawaii not knowing anyone get a clientele. I've seen attorneys come here and they uh, get clientele, clients from Sisters Empowering Hawaii. We are the go-to person when you want to come to Hawaii. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this quick story. Please. My, my girlfriend's grandson is moving to Hawaii. He's graduating from high school and he's going to be attending University of Hawaii and she said Sharon I'm so nervous about my grandson coming so far I want you to introduce him to the right restaurants to go to to meet various people do you know professors at UH I said absolutely I have plenty of friends at UH so this we are the go-to person if you want to find out what restaurants to go to uh, what tourist attractions to attend just call Sisters in Power in Hawaii and we'll lead you to the right source. You know, I'm, I'm smiling, Sharon, because we both believe in mentoring. You asked me if I'm still mentoring yes, young I people did. before the show. And yes, I am, and I still love doing that. I find it, it, it gives me a lot of satisfaction. Now, not everybody succeeds in what I think that they should uh, ascribe to, but I still enjoy uh, trying to help people, and you're doing exactly the same thing. Now, today, I made you an honor member of our Make Him Smile program. And everybody in our audience knows the Make Him Smile program, our uh, program in the hospitals where we bring musicians in. And the first thing you said to me when I, when I said to you, uh, this is what I'm going to make you an honorary member of, you said, I know some people who could help in this. And that's what it's all about. The willingness to be able to open up your uh, your list of people, my list of mm -hmm. people, coming together and helping each other, and you're very good at that. Oh, thank you. And I, I call myself the connector, and that's what it's all about. We must pay it forward and continue to mentor people. Uh, when you said that, you know, make them smile, uh, my 
uh, honorees asked me, well, what should I do? What should I do? And I said, just show up with a smile. This is what we want them to do, is show up, no uh, rules and regulations, uh, introduce yourselves. I just love doing it. I love doing the book signings. And you asked me earlier, um, when we were talking about why specifically I targeted women. Mm -hmm. And I do feel that women oftentimes are overlooked and undervalued. Uh, we bring so much to our communities, to our homes, to the workplace, to the world, really, um, that I find that I want to honor the women who, you know, unfortunately don't have the platform. And I was blessed to have that platform and to mentor other people. I wanted to always, I tell you, you have to be careful what you ask for. I've always wanted uh, to have a connection with the military. And, uh, Unfortunately, I had to have surgery on my elbow, and I, I said, oh my God, what am I going to do? I don't have anything to do. I'm sitting at home. So I called my girlfriend in Los Angeles. I said, what's going on out there? And she, she told me what she was doing. So she said, I'm going to go to the military, and we're going to give out gift bags. So this is when I came up with um, Valentine's Day for Hawaii veterans. And so I called the triple hospital, and I said, I would love to do something for the veterans there. And they said, oh, this is perfect. So I got together and um, st started with my church, and we gathered bags, and now we're up to giving two to 300 bags to the veterans on Valentine's Day. I think that's fabulous, oh, absolutely too. fabulous. Well, I, you know, I look forward to you helping us, too. Oh, okay. You know, helping the Make Them Smile program. I'm going to invite you to our foster kids program called Kids Hurt Too, which is foster kids here in the state of Hawaii. And I'd like you to come and talk to them as well, because I think you'd be very influential to the, to the young ladies that we have. Obviously, I can talk to the guys, but yeah. when a woman talks to the young ladies who are a part of our group, I think it's very helpful for them to understand oh, that they can have a wonderful life. All they have to do is think positive. I want to go back to the smile for a moment. Okay, all right. Uh, just prior to this show, I taped um, a segment of Seymour's World Commentary called Look in the Mirror. And it's all about what we see in the mirror, yeah. you know, in the morning. And what do you think the most important thing you have to do when you look in the mirror? You have to smile. Because if you smile in the mirror, you realize that life is good. It's not as bad as it is. Maybe a few more wrinkles here and there, but that's if not. If we're blessed. If you're blessed. And it's, 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 it's just not the end of the world. Smiling is so important. I think that's terrific. Tell me about the marketing plan. Tell me about where Sisters Empowering Hawaii is going. Are you going to the mainland? Are you doing, do you have affiliations on the mainland? I do. As a matter of fact, fortunately, I, we did have a um, lunch in Washington, D.C. Uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to attend not one but two inaugurations. And I said, I would like to bring Hawaii there wow. and do a luncheon for the inauguration. It was sold out. We had it at the Marriott. So yes, and I've done things in Los Angeles. I'm, I moved here from Los Angeles, California. I had a um, skin care and a cosmetic um, store on Melrose right. called Amici Cosmetics. So I have kept my um, um, connections in Los Angeles and in D.C., uh, various places. So what, this is how I'm able to get so many wonderful women, accomplishment women, to come to Hawaii, tell their stories. Who doesn't want to come to Hawaii and, and, and soak, in the sun, soak up the sun? So this is how I'm able to locate uh, the women here in Hawaii and find out. Marketing, you spoke about marketing. It really depends on the speakers that I have. Um, and then I market toward that group, and which is wonderful. I was able to do a fundraiser where I needed mostly attorneys. And so it was. I had a Civil Rights Attorney of the Year to speak, mm -hmm. uh, which was wonderful. We honored uh, attorney Daphne Barbie Wilton. I was able to have uh, Dr. Maya Satori Ng to oh, speak. Nice. We honored her as well. Wow. And when I was talking about the military as well, uh, you have to be careful what you ask for, because it will come. I honored uh, Brigadier 
a general, Suzanne Lam. And so that was a wonderful bridge for us to venture in with the military. They do so much for us. Um, they protect us. But not only that, I just think that we need to find a way to collaborate more with each other. And I think the bartering system needs, system needs to come back into play. When I was growing up, this is what we were doing. Because mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's not all about money. We know we need money to live. But if you have a service, I have a service, and that we can complement each other, why not make it work? I think it's also important, Sharon, the work that you're doing behind the scenes with women. The ability, I mean, the word empowerment mm -hmm. is so important for women. A lot of them have been mothers all their lives, you know, and they don't know how to come back into the community and become successful. What you're doing is giving them an opportunity. You're giving them that first step the ability to show that they can do what they want to do. It's not necessarily what happens when my kids are off to college now, what do I do? They can join Sisters Empowering Hawaii and learn immediately that there's a lot of things that they can do with their lives, whether they want to do philanthropy, get back to work, mm -hmm. nursing, all of the mm. wonderful opportunities that are out there for women. You know, to bring, you're talking about women getting back into the workforce. I was also privileged to receive a proclamation. I received, Sisters in Park Hawaii has received several proclamations from the majority of the, um, a lot of the governors here. And at that time, I was helping um, domestic violence. Mm -hmm. And so I came up with a slogan, stop the violence against, uh, stop domestic violence against women and children. And we raised money and we were able to donate to about three or four different houses and charities to help women get back into the workforce. And it's, it's just, it, you know what it is, you have to do feel good things. This is what it's all about. If it that's makes you wonderful. feel good, let's go for it. Wonderful, Sharon. We have to, we're going to continue, but we have to go to a break. Okay. And uh, I just want to say that um, uh, it's, uh, I said to you before the show, we're not going to have enough time to cover everything. We haven't even covered two or three oh. of the agenda <laughs> items yet, but we will. So let me go to a break, and then we'll come back in a minute. Uh, I'm Seymour Kazimersky on Seymour's World with our special guest, Sharon Yarbrough from Sisters Empowering Hawaii. We'll be back in a minute. You can be the greatest, you can be the best, you can be the king come banging on your chest, you can beat the world, you can beat the war, you could talk to God, go banging on his door, you can throw your hands up, you can beat the clock, you can move a mountain, you can break rocks, you can be a master, don't wait for luck, dedicate yourself and you can find yourself. Hi, welcome back to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. My guest today is Sharon Yarbrough from Sisters Empowering Hawaii. If you missed the first part of the show, get it, because it's absolutely amazing what this woman has done to help women in the state of Hawaii and around the United States, we're learning, all over in Washington, etc. So Sharon, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, the, the idea of bringing you on this show, I was excited, because the one thing I haven't had is a woman who really has taken to heart helping other women in the state of Hawaii. So tell me a little bit about why. What, what is the reason? What is the personal side of this? The personal side is I found so many women hurting, but then so many women who are just absolutely, uh, they know who they are and they can move forward. So I wanted to connect the women who are just quite not sure. That's why mentoring never stops. And when I finally realized, because we do this it's our passion. We don't really take it sometimes so seriously, and we don't really know the effects that we have have uh, we have on various people. When I 
finally realized how serious it was. Uh, one particular person wanted to join my organization. When I say join, she wanted to partner in, with business. And I thought about it, and I'm glad I kept my name. This is why I want people to know not all money is good money. You know, you have to really protect your babies as if you're protecting your children. Mm -hmm. So this company is my baby. And she wanted to take it a different direction. And for, Unfortunately, we had to go through litigation. We did not go through litigation. I was fortunate enough to uh, have some attorneys on, on my side. So you were able to mediate out there? Yeah, we were able to mediate, and it was wonderful. This is when I really realized that th what I have going on with Sisters and Party is very important. And when someone else sees it and they want to take it over and take it from you, then you know, oh, the light bulb goes off in your head. This is something that's genuine. This is something that is important to the people. Because when we inspire women, we affect the entire community. So this is why it's so passionate for me. And, and my sister, who's a, who's a nurse, I was able to give a nursing um, function here as well. And she would tell me nurses are undervalued as well. The doctors, the physicians, they get all the credit. But it's the nurses that come into your room and take care of you on a daily basis, the um, health care providers. So there's so many different aspects. The teachers are important. Teachers are my, that's one of my pets as well, too. They are so undervalued. Yes. Especially here in Hawaii, believe Ooh. it or not. It's the HSTA, and we've had various uh, uh, arguments, and I mean arguments, about why don't we do more for our teachers. And I think most of the teachers are women, as you know. Yes. And that's one of the reasons. They my need mother you, was a teacher. Sharon. They need you. Okay. They need people like you who can help them understand that they have a very strong leg to stand on. They're not just teachers. They are providers of education for the future. And if they uh, do a good job, then they should be re rewarded accordingly, which they are not. Absolutely. Which I totally agree with you. As I said, mentioned earlier, my mother was a teacher uh, and later on a principal. My father, uh, a minister, but he was substitute teach uh, on the side, too. Mm -hmm. And I see here. some wonderful, wonderful Let's, pictures yes, yes. here. Tell us who, who is here. Oh, who is here? This is Hawaii's uh, Valentine's Day for Hawaii veterans. Uh -huh. And the lady in the middle is author Jerry Lange with the beautiful silver hair. Uh -huh. I don't know if you remember. Remember the Love Boat? Yes, of course. The Love yeah. Boat, where her son oh, was a bartender oh, on the Love God. Boat. She was visiting here from Oakland, California. And she came to your event. And she came to the event, and she was such an inspiration. And now you're looking at the first annual Women Making History. And I'm sure we saw on the news, uh, to my left, uh -huh. uh, Vicki Hope Takamane. Right, and I know And she her, yeah. was one of the honorees. And you know, she's um, talking about breast cancer, mm -hmm. which is very important now. And there's uh, the... The, uh, that's the Brigadier General, right? No, no, no that's, there. That's no. Colonel. Oh, right. She'd love to hear that. Yeah. That's Colonel Salithia Abner Wise. Uh -huh. But the lady smiling um, is next to Vicky is Deborah um, Pagay. She flew in from Los Angeles. She's an, an author. She sold over a million copies uh -huh. on Take Me Your Tongue. And of course, you see Dr. Maya Satoro Ng, of who's course, there, yeah. dear friend of mine. And you see the civil rights attorney. Now we're on to our second annual Women Making History. History, and that's Dr. Joanne Williams Lozoya from Los Angeles. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And she is a national and internationally known emergency med uh, medical doctor. Mm -hmm. You've heard of ER, right? Yes, of course. They would come to her uh, emergency room uh, and, okay. uh, and learn about the you know, ER. Wow. Oh, that's Meliana. That's a great with, picture. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And look at all the women who are yeah. smiling. Yeah. You're talking about smiling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Meliana received the Social Justice Global Peace Award. And um, the year before that, it was uh, Dr. Maya Satoro Ng. Yeah. And she passed the baton, and she nominated Meliana Meyer. Oh, and wow. In the middle, that's my dear girlfriend, June Dennis, who is the vice president of Sisters in Power in Kauai. And you see Senator Willis Sparrow, yep. who is giving us a, a proclamation again right. th for this year. Oh, my goodness. And there's Dr. Patricia Jones Blessman. Mm -hmm. She flew in from uh, Chicago. And she is... Oh, dear, dear friend of mine. And she really comes in and she puts it all together for me. Mm -hmm. I, 
it, there we are. You know, that is just fabulous, Sharon. It I, is. I love it. I could tell I could tell in your voice. I see it in you. I see the passion that comes out. I, I think it's just fabulous. Now, let's look forward. Let's okay. look five years from now. Five years from Where now. Where is Sisters Empowering Hawaii going to be? I would like to be global. And we were talking, you were talking about how you travel around. I would like to take Sisters Empowering Hawaii to various countries. We're looking at right now and, and, and planning a trip to Africa in two years. And this is what we would like to do and find their needs and fill it. And I would like to take a group of women with me that we can hold various seminars there. And this is where I see ourselves in five years. We want to be global. Fabulous, Sharon. Yes. I think it's so important. The work that you're doing, both the present and the future work, is what we need. Not just for Hawaii, but for all of the women out there that realize that, you know, I want to do something yes. with my life. Let's do it. You know, and you let's, can. You absolutely can. And I think Sisters of Powering Hawaii is the way to do it. Can they find you? Just Google Sisters Empowering sure, Hawaii. Sure, you can Google, no you can email me, you can, um, I have a Facebook page, mm -hmm. Sisters Empowering Hawaii, or you can go on my personal page, Sharon Thomas Yarbrough. Uh, it's all connected. Sharon, we are going to be seeing a lot of each other. I hope Sue, so. Sue, don't worry. That's not, <laughs> I, I don't mean that in any other way than I, I want to help. We better clarify that That's with my right. husband okay, as well. Okay good. okay, good. We have to be sure that that works. <laughs> well, I uh, unfortunately, we have run out oh, of time. Oh, no. Yes, we have. But we're going to do this again, okay. Sharon, because I think it's important. All right. uh, I want to say thank you to all of you who have watched the show today. I think this is one of the most inspiring shows we have. Oh, Sharon, you have something. I have something for you. I have to give oh. for you. We want to pay it forward. Oh we were gosh. fortunate enough for our second annual Women's Making History mm -hmm. to partner with Argosy University. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm giving to your children a $10,000 scholarship from Argosy University. Oh, my gosh. Two sure. $5,000 scholarships. And oh we, this gosh. is, here we are. This Thank is it. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy Thank to do you. that. This is, I, I, we have, as you know, a lot of foster kids who want to go to college and can't. This is just fantastic. It's all Thank for you. you so much. Oh, you're, well, you're quite one. Thank you for having me on. It's terrific. Uh, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed. What a closing that is. Two $5,000 scholarships yes. for our kids. That's, that's the way life turns, isn't it? It's just wonderful. Do something good for somebody else, and it comes right back at you. I wish you all well. This is Seymour Kazimersky on Seymour's World at Think Tech Hawaii. We'll see you on our next episode. Aloha.